Do you need recommendations about how to improve your English to reach a higher level, to improve your fluency, your vocabulary, your pronunciation and grammar? In today's video, I'll give you a tour of an English pronunciation app that I always recommend, Practica. So bear with me because I will show you how the app really works. Practica is the only app out there that provides the most advanced and realistic AI avatars. They give you feedback on grammar and pronunciation, which is essential when learning a foreign language. Look at Natasha. She really looks like a person and she is described as formal, smart, and innovative. She is my favorite avatar, but there are many others with different personalities and accents. No more beating around the bush. Let's get started with the tour. Once you download the app on Google Play or App Store, you'll select your native language, your hobbies, your main goal, and your main objective in learning English. For example, career growth if you want to improve your English to be a better professional. Then you'll be asked to arrange. Arrange means to place. You'll be asked about your desired outcomes. By outcomes, I mean your desired results in a priority list. For example, first I need English to prepare for an interview, then for conferences, then presentations, and so on. It all depends on your priorities at that moment. After that, the app will ask you if you have already studied English before. What makes you most excited while studying? The skills you need to improve, your current level, and the accent you want to target. So you can target American, British, Indian, Asian, or Australian accents. Then the app will ask you how much time you would like to practice per day so you can adapt it to your routine. I will select 15 minutes a day. I'll choose my avatar. I told you there are many. I'll select Duane. Then you'll start practicing with the avatar and he or she will create your study plan. Yes, that's correct. You'll have a personalized study plan according to everything you answered before and of course, according to your level. Awesome. So to kick things off, let's start with a simple question. What's your name? My name is Giovanna. You can call me Gigi. Nice to meet you, Gigi. I'm Dwayne, your lively English tutor. So, Gigi, tell me a little bit about yourself. You'll talk to him a little and then you'll get your placement test result. A lot of people ask me how to test their English, so here's an opportunity. Download the app and you'll find out your level as well. Your study plan was created. Hooray! Now you can start studying. In this section, you have your lessons organized by units and themes. For example, Unit 1 is Master, Seam, Appear, and Personality Vocabulary. Once you click on the lesson, you'll choose the tutor. I'll choose Natasha. If you'd like to see her in full screen, as if you're on a video call with her, just click on the video icon. Speaking of understanding, let's dive into our lesson topic for today. Mastering the use of seem, appear, and expanding our vocabulary related to personality traits. To start off, let me ask you this. How would you define the word seem? Can you give me an example sentence using it? I would define it as when we are describing something visually. For example, this week seems, seems to be the best one. Great definition, Gigi. 
you're absolutely right. Seem is used to describe something based on its appearance or our perception of it. In your example sentence, you used seems to express your perception that this week is the best week. You can also customize your lesson. For example, if you want to study a very specific topic today, you can click on practice, then custom, custom topic, add the situation, English at the supermarket, add the avatar role, supermarket attendant, Add your role, client, and choose the avatar. I'll choose Susan this time. Let's talk about supermarket. That's a great topic, Gigi. Supermarkets are an important part of our daily lives. What would you like to know or discuss about supermarkets? I'd like to know some food names. When I go to the supermarket, I usually took a shopping basket. That's a good start, Gigi. When you go to the supermarket, it's common to use a shopping basket or cart to carry your groceries. One of my favorite features, for each sentence you pronounce, the avatar gives you feedback. I said took, which is grammatically incorrect. You just need to click on feedback and you'll see that it's better to say take instead of took. And there's the whole explanation for you to understand why take is correct and took is incorrect. But you can customize your lesson topics all the time and choose different avatars, different accents to practice and you get accurate feedback. Another feature that I really like is the dictionary. You can save all the new words you learn to a dictionary inside the app. It really helps with memorization. Well, now it's time for you to download it through the link in the description down below and let me know what you think about it in the comment section. See you!